Now, in theory, the Mask of the Revenant that you have to do to get the blueprint for the Revenant frame should not cost anything to pick up. I don't know if it does or not, so let's go see Nanak and find out. Uh, there was an issue when this first launched. So basically that was an interesting little conversation, it costs one wisp to buy, kind of really glad on that. Build this, fitted lenses, huh? Okay. There's supposed to be like a little quest behind this. It did say to wear the mask on the plane, so sadly you have to go back to the landing craft to actually go to your operator to be able to equip the mask. Okay, actually talk to you while you're in here. But, did also mention you could just throw it in the lake, so I'm, before I do anything, I'm going to go to the lake and spawn over there. Mainly so I can do this. What was that? After running around for ages, uh, turns out the thing I was actually looking for was on this side of the water. I was looking at it over there. Ugh. Oh, are we looking for fragments? For what? Ready for what? Oh, I'm gonna take a guess and say that right there. Oh, that was freaky. Uh, I'm not sure. I was actually trying to pause the recording for a second there. It made this weird noise and disappeared. After wandering around for a few minutes, because the next one it was a little bit harder to actually find, 
And I kid you not, I've been wandering around for... I think I've done a complete lap around this little one. And I should be coming back on my frame. Is that my frame over there? Nope, I don't know what that is. It's not even reaching. What is that? Good question. And it's gone. That was my frame. <laughs> okay, I thought it was. Well, I kind of discovered this weird thing. On the map, you can actually see where I'm supposed to be going. I've ran around this lake and not noticed it. This has to be done at night. This is limited because of it be having to be done at night. And there it is. I want to be in this form when I get close, but not too close. Because I'm hoping there's another one of those ghostly figures of a sentient, sentinel, sentient, whatever. There it is. It's almost completing the ship. And it's got, oh, it was actually a frame getting its arm pulled in. Look, that's the, that's cool. Oh, don't make me fight Nidalon. Not by myself. Don't mind me. I'll just take all your goodies. Wait. You're still there. Oh, it's not scannable. Oh, I was really hoping I could scan him there. Whee! Hello, Mr. Eidlon. How are you today? So this new frame was attached to it. This is why they're calling it the Mask of the Revenant and why he has the Eidolon powers because he kind of looks like an Eidolon with the power coming off, the weird green glow, some of the abilities as well. And I am shooting at him. I know it's not going to do anything for those people who are going to get a bit mad about that. It's the abilities. That's how he spawned in. Oh, that's one of the abilities that he kind of used against us when he first spawned in and I didn't realize it. Of course, quickly running to the exit. There it is, the blueprint for the Revenant frame. That just actually says Revenant blueprint. From the third one onwards, the third one has, as you can see over here, the Revenant systems. This one has the chassis and the last one has the Neuroptics for Revenant. Basically, it's the first three quests, bounties, sorry, are for Gara parts. The third one sharing the Revenant part, and the last three are for the Revenant parts. So yes, they've kind of put it in the same as Gora is. You have to farm bounties to be able to get her parts, but that was actually a nice touch until I noticed that the Neuroptics was a rare drop, because that could actually be a pain. I've been, I want to say, farming for some Eidolon lenses, but yeah, I did that mission once. You can only do it once every so often because, as you can see, there's a giant timer at the top here. So you can only do it once every so many hours and then you've got to wait for it to reset before you have another chance of getting it. So, though the parts are in here, farming them can actually take a long time to do. And actually build the Revenant frame. He actually looks like he is going to be a good frame. The abilities look like they're going to work well together. Not getting too much into that. This was more just simply about the little mini quest of how to get him. But the armor is okay. The shields and energy look like that's going to be his key point. And because a few people mentioned it, I didn't mention his passive because I've mentioned it before. His passive is basically going to be like... Embers, when she gets knocked down, she will knock down enemies close by. Same thing, but once his shields are depleted, he will cause the the shockwave that knocks down nearby enemies, which could be really useful if he didn't have such a high number of shields. But we'll have to wait for... The, oh, I must have touched the controller there. We will have to wait for that because obviously he's not quite there yet. 
actually at all. He's still kind of unranked. So we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.